What is up guys, it's Nick here, and in this video, I was recording a song using one of these. Okay, so this cool piece of gear I'm holding here is a Tascam Porta Studio 424. And it is a multi-track recorder that uses these eight-track cassettes. It was made around the 1980s, and decks like the one I have here were what started the home recording boom of the 1980s where artists didn't need the help of a record label anymore to make music or produce music rather. Now that we use DAW's tape recorders like this one have kind of been rendered obsolete to the majority of people. But I don't know, something about recording music onto an analog deck is so much fun. The creative workflow is super simple. It's bare bones. Just something about dialing in your sound using a analog mixer like this one. It's hard to beat. All right, so the machine is on. Okay, so uh, you gotta arm the two tracks and then turn it to mic. Then let's see, the sound shows up, so nothing yet. Okay, here, still gotta do that. And there we go, we got something. Now we'll just listen to it and dial in the sound, man. Walk of shame, it wasn't even recording. <laughs> when I mix, when I mix drums, I don't go for, oh, what sounds the best? I go for what sounds like drums. <laughs> Cause I'm looking at my snare recording and it sounds like I don't even, it doesn't even sound like I'm playing drums. It sounds like I'm like, like beating one of those chicken dog toys kind of.
if you made it this far, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it a ton, and I will see you in the next one. I need some water. A 2% drop in hydration leads to a 20% decrease in brain performance. And why does my phone look like that? It was not like that when I left you. Stay. I swear to- <laughs>